Formdex 2025, and I'm at the RevoPoint booth with my buddy Zoltan. Hey, man. Hello, Joel. Good to How see you? you. Good to see you. We're in front of something that's incredible. This is exactly. a scanner on a robotic arm. Totally. Okay, you need to tell me all about this. So this is Metro Hub. It's a new product. So it's really a new standard in the quality uh, for scanning. An automatic robot. So you can make uh, easy scanning, automatic scanning from any products. Uh, you don't need to care about what, what you see, what you do. The robot take care of it. That's amazing. Exactly. That's amazing. Well, part of scanning, you uh, you want to be even with your scans. You want to go at kind of a good speed. You want to be an equal. You want to be equal distance from the part as you go. The robot automates that. Exactly, he takes care of, of, of all about this. So you, you just learn them how to do it. So it's a drag to teach uh, function. You so, show them what to do, he will do it uh, all time. And over But in future, and over and it over. will be totally automatic. You just put a piece here and he will take care of it. Okay, so for right now, it is a training situation. Exactly. But in the future, then yes. the robot or the system would recognize when a piece is in exactly. here. And then it will go through and do the scanning that yeah. it needs to do. You know the turntable, so you just put something on it. He will scan it until it's totally perfect. Oh, that's so. That's the future. It's the future. This is a RevoPoint product. This exactly. robot. Exactly, it's a V of Bot Nine uh, Cobot. But paired with this scanner, that is a really, really good idea. Yes. So then is. This going to be paired to even larger arms in the future, or is you, there a way can. to? Yeah, you can. But the most important thing is you can remove also the scanner and use it like a normal scanner. So you don't even oh. need the robot, and you can use the robot for other things also. Well, I'm familiar with the scanner. I, yes. I've seen this before. It's a really good. I love it. this. So this is just a standard track it. It's not a robot edition. No, no, you, you don't just have took to a robot. Good. You put the scanner right there. And exactly. You don't have to buy both. You have seen uh, everything inside. The track it though, like, it's doing a complex part. When I saw it before, we were doing uh, the inside of a car door, yeah. which is complex in nature, but this is even more complex. Yes. And what's really important, this has tolerances that need to be adhered to. This this size and that size exactly. have to be precise, and yes. the track it's able to do that. Yes. Uh, he can do it and he can do even do best. He can do nearly mirror finished uh, object without any spray. It's really hard for a 3D scanner to do this. <laughs> yeah. And even totally black object. And because of it's a track kit, so a unit is tracked by a, by a tracker unit, uh, you can do absolute positioning. So you can measure distance between two objects without uh, scanning everything, just the, what you need. And it's precise. And it's precise up to 0.02 millimeter precision. 0.02. Yes. That Wow. You know, this sort of stuff is just amazing to see because, you know, in the consumer 3D printing land, we've got 0.4 millimeter nozzles. Yes. So your resolution really is no smaller than 0.4 because you no. can't lay anything like that. So then you should, with a consumer printer, be able to reproduce any part that this makes. Exactly. You can, if you do a scan well, you just scan it put it on your printer and print it. But you can also do measurements with it because we have a software, Metro Measure. It's a software where you can import your scan, import a CAD file, and make precise measurement, comparison, uh, surface deviation. So it's industrial grade uh, scanning now. Oh man. For customer price. I'm not as familiar with scanning. And so I want to hear what was the favorite thing that you've ever scanned with this system? Two weeks ago, I made a really cool scan with it for real use. I go to EDF, it's a French electrical company, and I scanned a windmill uh, axle. 12 tons axle in two scans. It's so two, it, two it, scans. It, it takes me 10 minutes and the, and the scan is totally complete. He, he even don't believe it, he, he, want, he, he asks, when I start? I say, I just finished the scan, so I can go home. <laughs> All done. And how big was that? I mean, that was massive It's three, size, right? three meter long, uh, two, three meter tall, and it's a 12 ton object, so it's not a smart toy. It's, no. it's a big... Well, you can't really move that into place. And so no, no, being able I have to use to something it. like this, did you use the track it to do it? Exactly. Oh, and the, the lighthouses up there, I call them lighthouses. Those are, are kind of like the secret sauce of the system, being able to exactly. know the 3D space that this plays in, right? Yes, because the tracker track the scanner, the scanner scan the object. So it's impossible to be lost. Yesterday, a uh, children come here, seven years old, he made his first scan in his life and he scanned this, this part himself. Perfect really? quality. Yeah. You can't do better example. And that's really cool because as we, as we go about the future, we need to actually have kids know more about technologies like scanning. This is the goal of, of RevoPoint. Make big uh, quality scanners for all the customers. No learn curve, 
the main goal is no one month for learning curve. You just take your scanner, you hit the play button, and you scan. You are ready. I know there's a couple other things that we get to see here at the booth. Can we go check those out? Yeah, of course. Great, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Okay, Zoltan, we're at the Metro Y Pro booth section. Exactly. And it looks a little bit different than the track it that we were at before, right? And yeah. slightly smaller. Yeah, it's totally smaller. It's handheld. No lighthouses. No need anything. You just need the scanner, a battery pack, and you can scan. And there's no wires around this. No, it's, so it's wi wireless. It's wire, Wi-Fi 6 based. Oh. So you don't even need a, a Wi-Fi. You can he make a Wi-Fi hotspots, so you can con con uh, connect your computer on the scanner in the middle of a forest if you want. That's perfect. OK. And that can scan something like this. Exactly. This is a real scan made by a customer. So oh. ten, ten, 10 minutes ago, and he made it uh, in the, his first scan. <laughs> Again, these first scans, these people yeah. come up, and it's that easy to use? The, the goal of these machines is this. You, you don't need to learn them. You just use them. You just put, the, put it here, put some points on the turntable, and scan. Can I hold that just of to course. kind of get the weight? Oh, that doesn't weigh anything. No. That is really light. I was worried like you have to hold something heavy, but... No. And because it's USB-C based, you can also take any power bank in your pocket, put a cable and use it uh, like this. Oh, so like those big batteries we take around when our phones yeah. run out, you can just plug it into this as well. Exactly. And it was able to pick up the detail. And I see on here, there's that piece behind the tooth. And I see it behind the tooth there. Yeah. Like it picked up everything. You hear, you hear before the resolution of track it, this is a handheld unit, but it's also up to 0.02 millimeter precision in one single line mode. And it can do it without having those, the, the, the lighthouses or whatever they're called up above, exactly. right? It can track the model because of the dots. Yeah, you have multiple uh, uh, models on this scanner. You can scan in laser mode, so you have to use dots to really high precision. You can also scan it in full field mode, so you can scan any object without any markers where you want. And then you said the Wi-Fi 6, so this becomes the hot spot. So exactly. I'm in the woods. And, yeah. I, and there's some mushrooms on a tree. Yeah. And I'm like, ooh, I want to scan that. Exactly. So I can bring out my laptop, connect it to that, scan my mushrooms, yes. and I'm good. Your only problem is to have enough battery. It's your only problem. Wow, awesome. Well, there's, now there's one more place to go see something really cool, right? It's, is yes. it right over there? We have Inspire in the, in the next tide. Let's do Inspire it. Inspire 2. Inspire 2. Let's exactly. go see it. This is cool because the, the track it was bigger. The one we were at was the medium size. This looks to be a little bit smaller. What do we have here? It's even smaller. It's a Riverpoint Inspire 2. It's hobby scanner. If I say hobby scanner, it's not a cheap scanner. It's really a precise scanner with, with low price. So this is a 200 gram scanner. Okay. So it's really light. Oh, may I? Yeah, yeah, you can, you can. Oh, that's nothing. It's ridiculous. Wow. And it's ridiculous, but what most ridiculous is this small scanner can scan up to 0.04 millimeter precision. It's not a toy, still. it's a real scanner. Yeah, well, at that precision, we're still, we're still well within the reach of people who want to scan to print things. It's far enough for scanning and Absolutely. 3D printing. I can even start scanning and talk with you. It's not a problem. We're, we're scanner, we'll You're take doing care. it right now. I'm doing it right now. You can do it if you want. It's not a problem. Sure. Yeah, you just take, take oh, it and, just... uh, and hold it. It's, it's not a video. And you finished your, your, your part. Just like that? Yeah. I can even stop now. I, I have not, not enough time to, Wait, you just to did talk it. with like you. Just right then? Yeah, exactly. So yeah, this is a real precise toy. It's an entry level scanner, 500 euro, you can have a scanner, scan any object, cut some millimeters from the bottom, put it on your printer and print. That's amazing. Well, it's like ridiculous. you said, a hobby scanner, but really entry level seems to be a better description because exactly. it's still incredibly powerful and can reproduce the things that people want to scan, but at a decent price point. Totally, totally. You can do all this for entry level price. So any hobbyist, any, anyone can buy this. So it's cheaper than a 3D printer. That is so cool. It doesn't weigh anything. This has to be connected. This is not it's wireless, connected. right? Yeah, of okay. course. Okay. That's and one cool. last thing to say about RevoPoint, it's, uh, it's used Revo Metro, so it's a, it's a software. Uh, it's the same software for all of your scanners. So oh. it, you don't have to learn anything. If you, you know what to use it, you can use it any, on any of your project. So if someone picks this up, this hobby scanner, entry-level yeah. scanner, they get used to the software, they get some good scans, they find that they need some better resolution, or maybe they want to graduate to the tracker. Yes. Same software. They have already know how to use it. They just get newer hardware that can perform differently. Software stays the same. Yeah. It takes them all the way through. You invest a little bit more in scanner, but the software is the same. It's free, it's included, you don't have any hidden fees. It's this scanner, it's this software. You, you just use it. Easy peasy, let me 
been squeezing. Uh, well, at this point, people are going to want to know more about where to get Revo Point scanning solutions. Yes. So look in the camera right there and tell everybody where to go. You can go on revopoint.com and follow us on every social media. You can have information on all our scanners, all our softwares. Thanks for watching. If you've made it this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Fight for cause you believe in. Scan all the things. And as always, high five. There high five. Bye. Ooh, we should scan that. Yeah. <laughs>